joining me on American Beer TV. We're going to do a little Beer 101 for you today. We're going to go over the basic ingredients of beer and what makes beer what it is. Uh, why do we like beer? We do a lot of tastings on this show, so we're going to talk a little bit about the basic ingredients so that when we're tasting these beers, we'll know a little bit about you know why we're talking about um, malt or hops or yeast or things like that, different flavor profiles. This is, this is all due to these basic ingredients, which are water, malt, hops, and yeast. Now, water plays a huge part in the brewing process. Uh, water can have a high mineral content, and a high mineral content, uh, typically uh, like an English style beer, uh, a lot of English beers uh, traditionally are brewed with a, a water with a high mineral content, really hard waters. A lot of those stouts, uh, the big bold flavors of the ales, well, lend themselves a little more to a hoppier style of beer. Whereas the other end of the spectrum, you have a soft water or a low mineral content in the water. So you can have a really smooth beer or a really light pale lager, which is traditionally uh, brewers in Germany have a really soft water. Uh, so that allows them to brew that style of beer. And that, that's why these beers have become what they are and, and the tradition of brewing beer because of their geographics and the type of water that they're using while they're brewing these beers. Uh, the big one that we all love is malt. Malt has, is going to give the beer uh, a lot of its flavor, some of its aroma, all of its color, and the ability to create alcohol by the sugar created in the, in the brewing process. Because malt is sweet, you need a bittering agent. A bittering agent is going to be hops, traditionally used uh, by almost all brewers. Uh, there's a few exceptions to add bittering, uh, bittering agents but uh, we'll talk about those when we come across them. Hops uh, have uh, a resin-like substance in the hop cone itself, and when it's heated, it becomes very bitter. So depending on how the brewer is going to manipulate those hops, they can have a very bitter uh, flavor profile, and then also if they don't, if they don't uh, boil it too much, it's going to have a more of an aromatic effect on the beer. So you can go both ways with hops, uh, but hops are de there to balance out that sweetness that the malt is giving off. Uh, and to tie it all together, we've got yeast. Brewer's yeast uh, is going to eat the sugar created from the malt, and its byproduct is alcohol, which we all love, and CO2, which gives beer uh, its mouthfeel. The carbonation when you're drinking the beer is going to fill your mouth with those tiny little bubbles. And traditionally, that is what all beers were carbonated with was the actual yeast and the actual process of fermentation. Nowadays, uh, as the beer, as the yeast settles out, we force carbonate our beers. Uh, but a lot of bottle conditioned beers that you see out there, you know, a lot of the cork tops or stuff like that, you're gonna see um, you're gonna see yeast sediment in the bottom of the bottle. A lot of that's bottle conditioned. There's gonna be some natural carbonation from from that yeast in the bottle. Um, the great thing about beer is that those four ingredients can create hundreds and thousands of different flavor profiles. Uh, the brewers can manipulate these ingredients to create any anything that they want. They can go they can go big and bold, have lots of malt, have lots of alcohol, they can add lots of hops, make it really bitter, they can add lots of hops at the end of a boil and have really aromatic beer. Uh, this is why we love beer so much, is these flavors that are given off by these four basic ingredients. So stay tuned for other episodes. We're going to go over each one of these ingredients one by one and go into detail about what makes these ingredients what they are and what makes them taste the way they taste. Thank you for joining me this episode of American Beer TV. Cheers, guys.